reason anybody should buy this. It makes no sense to buy this. Hello everybody and welcome back to Advent Calendar Season. We are on day number five of just chipping away at this Advent Mountain here behind me. Today's little hunk of mountain that we're gonna be getting into is the Kylie Advent Calendar for 2023. In the last Advent Calendar unboxing that we did, day number four of Advent Season, we unboxed the luxurious and highly valuable Herods of London Advent Calendar, which inside contained a Kylie Jenner product because luxury. And that just got me so curious, wondering what Miss Kylie has graced us with this year in her advent calendar. Last year, she decided to grace us with no value whatsoever. So this year, I'm hoping we see some value, which I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. And maybe some like exclusive products that you can only get with inside this advent calendar or something to make you want to buy this calendar. Because my goodness, at least for me in the US, this was a very expensive calendar. It's only 12 days. It cost $190 and it's a UK exclusive. So I had to order it from Harrods, which meant they charged me $30 shipping so all in all in total this cost $216 for this calendar. Hi there good morning okay I just wanted to hop in here real fast and say this calendar is actually $186 I say it's $190 like the entire time so my calculations are off just like by $4 the, the whole time. But that's $18 a day for this calendar <laughs> which I mean I really haven't been keeping track of it but I feel like that might be one of the most expensive like days per dollar that we've seen. In 2022 you could buy it from the Kylie Cosmetics website it was $180 then now which it's still available. You can still go get it. It's not out of stock. People weren't exactly like jumping at the opportunity to buy this advent calendar, but it is on sale now for $153. A one-year-old advent calendar. You can get it for like, what's 180 minus 153? For $27 off. The savings are unreal. But anyway, back to the 2023 advent calendar. This is very pricey for a calendar that promises you no value. It doesn't advertise a value to it. It's just like, here, pay us money. Here's some stuff. So here's to hoping that this advent calendar is so much different than last year. But something tells me it won't be. Oh boy, just look at all like the little small boxes and the little small box for $216. <laughs> Let's start here with a day number one. Okay, <laughs> I say, yeah, that sounded empty. That's a big jump, I need help. Alrighty, day number one. Let's see what we have. It's looking very pencil-y. Oh wow, very, very brown. Very brown and pencil-y. So this is a Kylie, Kylie Jenner, matte brown gel eyeliner pencil. Okay, so we're starting off here with an eyeliner pencil. It's not black, so that's something. Is this a twist up or is the bottom just real movable? It's not, it's not a twist up. Okay, uh, yeah, I was spinning this little brown part down there just desperately hoping for this to move up and it doesn't. So we're starting off the seven calendar with a sharpenable brown gel eyeliner. Does the bottom come off? Maybe there's a spoolie or something? No. Well, this might not be like the most exciting item, but it is only day one. So let's at least give it a swatch and see if it swatches nicely. Yeah, it's what just like a like a brown eyeliner. That's not too terrible. I do typically wear like a brown eyeliner. It's usually like a powder, so having a brown like gel eyeliner might be nice. It doesn't say on here if it's supposed to be like long wearing, waterproof, you know, like a 24 hour, 16 hour wear, anything like that. It just says eyeliner. You get 1.20 grams or 0.042 ounces of eyeliner. I feel like I said eyeliner a lot. Probably a little bit too much. Okay, day number two here is very like little. <laughs> it's so small and square. I don't know a ton about Kylie Cosmetics and like what she has in her line. Honestly and truly, it lip kits. That's that's about it. That's all I, I've ever known about Kylie Cosmetics. And no, I have almost no memory of what I got last year. I think there was a headband. <laughs> this big spoon. There we go. Ooh, Kylie skin. I absolutely totally forgot about Kylie skin. For some reason, I was under the impression that this was just like solely a makeup calendar, but I did forget Kylie Skin was a thing that it exists. So the first skincare item that we're getting in here is a clarifying gel cream. That was so very, very light. Do not use around eye area. And that's about the only information they give us on here. So it doesn't really say much about the product or anything, but I, I feel like it's practically empty. And that's because it is practically empty. Oh man, these daggone lights. Can y'all even see that? This is basically just like a cavernous hole right here. And there's just a little bit of cream in there. It smells like pool. Like, I don't know, something that you might like dump into your pool to like clear out the green sludge on the bottom. It doesn't smell awful. This smell isn't too strong. It isn't too terrible, but there is something in there that's just a little like on the chemically side, a little like astringent smelling. Maybe the clarification part of it is giving it a little bit of that strong scent. Alrighty, day number three here. Another just little itty bitty box. Well, doesn't that look familiar? <laughs> the next thing we have in here, honestly, not surprisingly, like not surprisingly, because we saw this product in another advent calendar, I kind of assumed it would be in this one as well. This is the Kylie High Gloss in the shade 001 Crystal. Again,
again, completely bubbleless. How they were able to get it inside this tube and shove that kind of thick looking doe foot into it without creating a single bubble, I do not understand. Now, unlike the last one, this one comes without any outer packaging. So we, we don't know if this one only has one single ingredient uh, according to the packaging, which is dimethicone. I just, I really would love to know the ingredient list for this specific lip gloss because since dimethicone is something that could be used in like not only cosmetics, but also just like industrial part lubrication. I'm assuming you can buy just like large vats of it for not a lot of money. So that would be just so funny if they were just putting straight dimethicone in like a lip gloss tube and they're like, yes, this is lip gloss. Okay. Well, there has to be another ingredient in there because this definitely smells like a little bit like vanilla. So there has to be at least a fragrance ingredient. Oh, it's very, very thick. Super sticky feeling, at least on the back of my hand. I don't know why I'm swatching completely clear lip gloss on the back of my hand, but I'm gonna try it on my lips as well. I mean, if it's fine on the lips, it does feel a little bit like on like the thick kind of sticky side. It doesn't really taste fantastic. It doesn't really taste vanilla-y or anything. There is just like the slightest vanilla odor. So, I mean, overall, yeah, I would say that's a clear lip gloss. They they did it. They made a, they made a clear lip gloss. <laughs> day number four of the 12 day advent calendar. So we are like one third of the way through this and I still haven't seen like a colorful lip product yet, which is what Kylie is known for. So I'm hoping we might see that in here. Seems like a long enough little box to have maybe a liquid lip in it. All right, so we finally have a lip color here. This is a matte liquid lip in the shade 005 Kristen. I obviously am very aware of like the Kardashian Jenners, but I, unlike the name of the television program tells me to do, I don't really keep up with the Kardashians. So I don't know necessarily what like Kristen is referring to. It also is spelled with a K because it, they all are, but isn't that typically how you spell Kristen? Yeah, probably. Oh my gosh, it's her middle name. Kylie Kristen Jenner. Never in a million years would I have known that Kristen is her middle name. You learn something new every day. So this shade here, it's a very just standard looking shade. It's a little bit rosy. It's a little bit pinky. I personally am not really sure, like just by looking at the color in the tube, if this is a color that I would personally wear a lot, especially since it's like a liquid matte lipstick. But at the same time, I do want to kind of try it out. It has a little bit of that vanilla scent to it, but I feel like Kylie lipsticks used to be like a lot more heavily scented. Goodness, okay. Maybe I should have stuck with my like first instinct that this is a color I standardly would not wear, but maybe if I tried it out just like real lightly, real gently, then it's something that I could actually pull off. I probably should have taken off the uh, thick, clear lip gloss I just put on before I put on my lipstick. Oh, it's just so, it's just so bright. For me personally, this definitely isn't like the brightest pink lipstick ever, but uh, it's just a little too pink for my liking. I'm gonna try to wipe off this clear lip gloss, even though it's really not coming off very good. So I can try on the matte liquid lip again to kind of test out like the formula and stuff, because it has been at least a year since I've tried out a Kylie lip product. I feel like that dimethicone is really just like clinging to my lips. That is not where my lip line is. Oh gosh, I have a pink mustache. Alright, there it is applied like fully to the lip. I, it is a really pretty shade. It honestly is a really pretty shade. I just kind of feel like personally uncomfortable with wearing really bright lip shades. And again, this isn't the brightest it could be. This could be the, like, the color of my sweater. It is a bit tinted for me, but I do think it's a pretty shade. Uh, the formula feels decent right now. It does feel a little bit drying already. Almost like there's a powder or something kind of coating my lips. I remember when the Kylie Kylie lip kits first came out. Everyone thought they were gonna be life changing because you know they changed Kylie Jenner's entire lip size and shape. I think I was substitute teaching. It was the day I was substitute teaching and the Kylie lip kits dropped and I was like on my phone secretly like ordering Kylie lip kits as I was subbing. All right, let's move on here to day number five, another shorter little box. It's another clear lip gloss. Lip oil, it's a clear lip oil. So two of the 12 products in here are just fully clear lip products. Okie dokie, uh, this is a Kylie skin lip lip oil. You know, a pretty small amount of it. That's not a ton of lip oil. But honestly, I'm kind of glad this came now because my lips do feel like increasingly dry as I'm sitting here talking. That's a big doe foot. That's a chunky doe foot. Oh, a coconut? It's a coconut lip oil? I don't know. There's no ingredients or anything. I really can't tell you guys too much information. I have to look it all up. Oh, it literally, it says coconut at the bottom. <laughs> it says coconut right on the bottom. There's even a picture of what looks like to be a half a coconut and a bowling ball. But my lips are actually very, very dry. So I'm excited to try on this lip oil on top of the this liquid lipstick. Why does this lip oil feel like it's the same exact like consistency and feel on the lips as the lip gloss? Just with a different scent? I've gotten pink all up in this lip oil. Now I kind of want to know the difference in ingredients between the lip oil and the lip gloss because it feels very similar. The lip oil, for being an oil, is very thick, kind of sticky. I was anticipating it to be 
oily, you know, because of the oil part. I mean, I'm sure there is a difference between the two, but to have like two such similar products and a 12 day advent calendar that costs so much money is a little underwhelming. It's a little underwhelming. Okay, so day number six here, halfway through the advent calendar. This is the biggest box in the entire box. I, I was really hoping for something good. I was really hoping for something good, but just picking this up and feeling like the weight of it and like how, how packed it is in here, I'm doubting it's gonna be any type of like actual makeup product, which is, that's kind of sad um, because I feel like Kylie does have like eyeshadow palettes, blushes, that kind of thing. So that could have been definitely included in this apparently makeup and skincare advent calendar, but I feel like this is gonna be something I'm not very happy about. Oh, heavens, okay. Would you look at that? I'm seeing a little peak of fabric, just a little peak of pink fabric. And a nearly $200 advent calendar. $216 if you count the shipping that it takes to get it to the United States from Harrods. We have a Terry Cloth Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner headband. Not only did she grace us with a headband, she graced us with the opportunity to advertise her skincare line on our foreheads. Excuse me. I think I was shouting. Oh, it feels terrible. It feel, you know what it feels like? It feels exactly like the one we got last year. It feels like the same exact pale pink terry cloth headband. Look like I'm about to go cross country skiing. $200, $216 to be exact is what I paid to look like I'm gonna go cross country skiing whilst advertising Kylie skincare across my forehead. At least my lips won't be chapped with my two varieties of different clear lip glosses. I think I'm getting a little worked up. Day number seven's up next. It feels very light. It feels so light. Maybe it's a lip pencil. It could be a lip pencil because, you know, that's a big thing. The liquid lips and then the lip pencils become the little kit. Why they couldn't put a Kylie lip kit in here for your, for your $216, I don't know. But I doubt there's one in here because none of the boxes are big enough to hold it. Okay, it looks like it could be a lip pencil. Oh my gosh, no, it's not. It's an eyeliner. It is a black eyeliner. <laughs> Black At least it's a cosmetic. This is a cosmetic. It's a makeup product, so that's something. This time it is a brush tip liquid liner. So let's give it a little shake and then we'll give it a swatch and see how it works out. No excuses if this doesn't swatch good, Kylie. That sounded threatening as I was making that like aggressive motion. What I mean by that is that like the excuse can't be, well, oh, it wasn't like shaken enough if it doesn't swatch well. That's what I'm saying. It's fine. It swatches. It's full. It's fine. It swatches okay. I did a couple different swatches there of like different line thicknesses. You can get a pretty thin detailed line and a nice thick line. It does appear that the thicker line is bleeding into my fine lines in the back of my hand a little bit. And it also did this kind of weird like bubbling thing. I doubt you guys are going to be able to see it on camera, but I didn't get like full coverage of my skin. There's some like, it almost looks like it's bubbled throughout. It's not necessarily like patchy, it's just bubbly. All right, day number eight is interesting. It's in like a larger box, so I'm, I'm curious to see what's in here. Starting to get awful curious why there's so much Kylie skincare in my Kylie Cosmetics advent calendar, but okay. The next, the next item we have here is a clarifying cleansing gel. One ounce of it. Is that a full size? Is this what she sells on her website? Is this $18 worth of a day? I'm gonna go check right now and see if on the Kylie website they sell one ounce of clarifying cleansing gel for $18. Turns out they sell five ounces of the clarifying cleansing gel for $26. So one ounce of it is worth $5.02. Kylie, where's my other $12.80. I would really like to know. I'm quite curious as to where my other $12.80 worth of value in this day is. It's not in that headband, I can tell you that for darn tootin'. And number nine is up next. Only a couple days left in the seven calendar. My goodness, how exciting. Whoa, my goodness, an actual like lip color in here. That's exciting. Uh, so the next thing we have here is our second, maybe potentially third, potentially third if you count the brown eyeliner as like a color cosmetic, our second or third, depending on your count, a colorful cosmetic in here. <laughs> this is a lip blush in the shade 207. I'm blushing and I might honestly like these more than I do the liquid lips. Because I have been wearing such like light kind of sheer lip colors for the past little bit, I feel like just seeing a liquid lip on me is like a bit shocking. So having something that's a lip blush instead of a liquid lip, I might prefer. And I kind of wish that we had gotten this one first so I could try it on because I feel like now if I try to get this off, it's going to be stuck to my lips. I won't actually get like the full impact of the lip blush. Okay, now that smell is what I kind of remember like the original lip kits smelling like, that kind of really strong fake vanilla scent, which I don't mind at all. I love a nice vanilla scent. Oh my goodness, that feels so different. <laughs> it feels super different. Okay, like yeah, this one shears out quite a bit over the skin. It feels really soft. It feels like there's a lot of like maybe silicone or something in here. It almost feels powdery on the skin. I honestly think I would prefer this because you could put on just a tiny bit of it just to give your like lips a little kiss of color instead of being like a full intense matte liquid lip. All right, so so far, I feel like this is probably my favorite item in the advent calendar. We're only on day nine. We have three days left to go still. 
and this $260 advent calendar. Okay, I'll stop saying $260. This $190 advent calendar. If you live in the UK, if you live outside of the UK, then yes, there is an additional shipping cost and I can't help but personally calculate those costs all into like the advent calendar because that's how much it costs me to like get it to me. If I don't buy the shipping, I don't have the advent calendar. So to me personally, I believe the cost to be $216 for me. All right, day number 10 is in a little itty tiny box over here. So I'm excited to see another Kylie skin product. <laughs> we have in here is a Kylie Skin Sugar Lip Scrub with a little scoopy bit. I do like a little scoopy thing. Like this little guy, he's got the tiniest little like spoon dip in him. Oh, that smells nice. It does smell good. It smells almost like caramel. Yeah, I mean, is it the smallest amount of lip scrub possible? Yeah, sure. Of course it is. Kind of like the eye cream. There's barely anything in that little jar. You know how inexpensive lip scrub is to make? It's crazy inexpensive to make. All you need is some sugars and some oils and because this is mass produced, there's probably some preservatives in there and like that, that's it. You got sugar scrub. You can make vats of it for very, very little. All right, day at number 11. Oh, it has a little bit of weight to it. That's kind of nice. It's in one of these like little shorter squatty boxes. So I'm assuming we're gonna get maybe another clear lip gloss. Just really round it out. I think three is a good number for clear lip glosses. Oh, it does look kind of lip gloss. Let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, at least this one is not clear. <laughs> we do have another Kylie High Gloss. This is in the shade Coco K. It's a very interesting, super milky looking lip gloss. It smells off. I feel like it's supposed to smell vanilla-y, but there's like, <laughs> there's like another like little something extra in there that doesn't smell fantastic. Okay, so I do actually think the color of this is really pretty, but I feel like it's gonna look super milky on the lips, if that makes sense. And that's just personally not my favorite. I feel like it really, really washes me out. Again, the color isn't terrible. I don't mind the color. It's a nice, again, kind of dustiest pink color. There's a little bit of like a neutral base to it. It doesn't look too terribly pink. So I feel like I would like the color if it wasn't so milky. <laughs> There's no way I can wipe this off and try it, right? I feel like this is definitely gonna be stained on my lips for a little bit. All right, it didn't stain too terrible. I do have like this nice kind of like a clown, like circus clown ring around my mouth, so that's good. Oh, I think it's awful. <laughs> so bad on me. Not only does it make my teeth look horrendous, but it makes me look like I have no lips. <sighs> on camera, it doesn't look that terrible, <laughs> but in real life, it does not look good. My camera tends to add like a lot of pinkness to things or a lot of like more intense color. Um, in real life, this just looks so washed out. I look absolutely like I have no lips. It looks real. Yeah, no, no. Gosh, that's thick pulling my lip off as I wipe it. It's so sticky. Why is it so sticky? All right, so that was day 11. That brings us to day number 12 of the Kylie Advent Calendar. I'm, I'm hoping for some redemption. That's what I'm hoping for. Anything in this 12th day to make me be like, okay, well, that was, that was okay. I feel like that's not gonna happen. I feel like that truly and honestly is not gonna happen because unless there's like $100 bill rolled up inside of this box right here, I think it's pretty safe to say that this was a ripoff. The worst of the worst in terms of value. So let's go ahead and spoon our way here into day number 12, just so we could be excited to see a lip product. At least it's a lip product. Thank heavens it's a lip product and not like, you know, I don't know, a clear eyebrow gel. I will say just by seeing this like little portion down here of the color, I feel like I might actually like this shade. Oh, it's a shine lacquer in the shade Dinner at Mine. So I might actually really end up liking this because I feel like the shade is nice. I do prefer like a lip gloss over like a matte liquid lip. So maybe we're, we're gonna end the calendar on a nice note. Why does it look like that? There's no scent to it, but this doe foot looks super weird. It's like bluish black. Why does it look like that? Maybe that's just the color of the doe foot? Yeah, the rest of the doe foot's been that color and I just didn't notice it. Okay, sure. I wiped off the lip product and that, I guess it's just the color of the doe foot. It just looks super weird. Okie dokie. Anyway, let's go ahead and get a swatch of this. Ooh, okay. That could be, that could be a pretty shade. It is super pigmented, but I think because of the formula, I could sheer it out nicely and it wouldn't be like too intense. So I'll try this one too. Ooh, I think I actually like this. And tastes very good. <laughs> it's so weird. But I think I actually really like the shade. I like the consistency. I like that you can sheer it out. It's still a bit more of like a vibrant shade that I wear. I know this isn't vibrant whatsoever, but I wear like, I basically on a regular basis, I want it to look like there's nothing on my lips with just there being the slightest hint of color. That fuzz has been in my hair this whole time since I put on that headband. Dang on headband. I do like it. It is still like a more vibrant shade than I standardly wear. Like there's more like color pigment on my lips than I standardly wear. But I think I like the shade. It has more of like a berry undertone than like a true pink undertone, which I personally prefer. It shears out so much that I feel like I could put on even less than this and still get like the tiniest hint of color without it being like too overwhelming. And it feels really nice. This feels like the most comfortable item that I put on my lips so far. It's not overly sticky. It's really smooth. So yeah, okay. I think I actually do really like day number 12 in here. Would it have been nice to have like an actual lip kit in here? There. 
Was there not even a lip liner? You're gonna have a Kylie Cosmetics advent calendar and you're not gonna put a lip liner in? Not a single, uh, not a single lip liner. The thing that made Kylie Cosmetics famous were the lip kits, the liner and the matte liquid lipstick. How is there not a lip kit in here first of all, but how is there not a single lip liner? That's how she supposedly got her thick full lips was lip liner. Not syringes full of lip filler, but lip liner. And there's not one in your Kylie Cosmetics advent calendar? Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but at least uh, day number 12, at least I liked the item that was on day number 12. There were some other perfectly fine items throughout this advent calendar. Perfectly fine. I would probably advise potentially to not purchase this advent calendar. I typically don't like to tell people like what not to buy or what to buy. I don't like doing that. I like to give my own personal opinions and then let people decide on their own. But this one, I'm talking to people who might buy this as like a present for somebody. I would potentially advise them to not purchase this advent calendar and just like like give somebody a gift card instead. Just be like, here's here's 200 bucks to the Kylie website. Go in there and pick out what you want because I feel like it's gonna be the same price. I feel like there is no value in this advent calendar whatsoever. Just like last year. You can't stand to give somebody a little like some, a little something something at the holiday season, Kylie. You couldn't stand to include an exclusive item, something that your customer can only get inside this advent calendar to make it worthwhile. You couldn't stand to give us like a little bit of value to like entice us to purchase this advent calendar? I feel like this is absolutely the reason the one from last year is still on sale on your website for only $27 off. This was $190 plus $30 shipping for anybody who was not in the UK. $216, $18 a day. I could have just gone and bought my own stuff. Here we go. Doing math again. It's the holiday season. I gotta do math because billionaires can't give you any value. Y'all ready for these numbers? You, you ready? You ready for these numbers? Okay, so the headband was listed for $10. It's on sale for $7. The cleanser we already found was like $5.20. So look liquid eyeliner is 19 the gel liner is 18 the lip oil is somehow $25. The matte liquid lip, the lip blush, the lip shine, those were all $21. The lip scrub, that little thing is $21. That's a ripoff. That's an absolute ripoff. Then the gel cream, that was $12. That brings us to a grand total of $206.20. Now the base price of this advent calendar is $190. I will give them that. That is a little bit over the $190 you spend to get this advent calendar. In fact, it is $16.20 more than you spend to get this advent calendar an incredible 8% savings. My goodness, how could we get to the holidays without you, Miss Jenner? So I was purchasing this advent calendar as like one whole component instead of individually purchasing all of these items and picking out the shades that you would actually like and would wear. You're saving 8%. Incredible value. However, if you did buy this from Harrods, which you only can buy this from Harrods, and you did get it shipped from the UK, which you can only get it shipped from the UK, you are paying a delivery fee. And for me, that delivery fee was $30. So for this $206 worth of products, I paid $216 to get it shipped to me. Why, why, why? Why? Why are you even making this, Kylie? Money is the, the answer. Profit is the answer. But like, can you, do you not care about your customer? Like what's so, do you not care? It's making me actually like physically angry. <laughs> there is no reason anybody should buy this. It makes no sense to buy this. Just use basically the same exact amount of money. Go on the website, pick out the, the, the exact shades you want, all the exact things that you want. Get more value out of it because you're actually gonna love and use everything that you pick out. On their website right here, there's a little thing on the bottom corner where you can say 15 percent off your next order. 15! That's almost double eight! That is almost double the amount you save by purchasing this advent calendar. And you get to pick what you want. There's no value. There is no reason for the advent calendar. Kylie, what the heck? Okay, so some of my numbers got a little messed up along the way, but I wanted to show you guys here that I have added everything, the exact items from the advent calendar into my cart on the Kylie website. I put on the 15% off discount, which is Kylie 15. Anybody can use it. My subtotal came to $213 minus the $31.95 discount with free shipping with the tax taxes that brings my total to $191.92 aka $1.92 more than the base cost of this advent calendar. There is absolutely no value, there is no reason for the advent calendar, and I don't think that your customers should have to break out a calculator to see if they're getting a good value from you or not. I'm getting a headache, like it actually, like it infuriates me. It infuriates me. I think business practices like that where you don't actually offer your customer any value is like it's mind-boggling. And half this junk is probably overpriced anyway. I know that lip scrub is, like for a fact I know that Let's grab us overpriced. Uh, so that is day number five of our advent calendar series. Sorry, this one got me a little bit heated. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. I mean, the episode rocks me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>